The summer holidays are in full swing with the royal family set to travel up to their beloved Scottish haven, the Balmoral Estate this month. Each August, the royals travel north of the border to unwind together at the royal residence that Princess Eugenie once called the most beautiful place on earth. King Charles and Queen Camilla typically stay at Burkel, their private home on the 50,000-acre estate. The Prime Minister is usually invited to stay at some point over the summer while the firm is in residence and at the end of the royal family's time there, they hold the Gillies Ball, which the staff are invited to as a way of saying thank you. Here. Express.co.uk takes a look at the other summer holiday destinations adored by the royal family. Inside royal family's huge Balmoral summer party where staff are their equal Botswana, Africa the summer after they first met in 2016, Harry whisked Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, off to Botswana for five days where they slept under the stars where they had a few close encounters speaking on their self-titled Netflix docuseries, Meghan recalled, It was all so overwhelming to be out there in our little tent and in the middle of the night, just hear this rustling and go see a shadow and be like, what is that? It's like an elephant munching leaves above the tent in the shadow. And I'm like, are we safe? Is it fine? And he's like, we're fine. I promise I'll keep you safe. And I believed him. Africa holds a special place in the Duke of Sussex's heart as he has described it as the place where he found peace and healing time and time again. Corfu, Greece Charles and Camilla have frequently been spotted on the gorgeous Greek island of Corfu, known for its rich culture, dreamy beaches and charming villages. The couple have reportedly stayed at the Rothschild Villa in Carasia in the past. In 2017, they stayed on a super yacht as well as a villa on the mainland. Corfu also happens to be where Charles's father, Prince Philip, was born in 1921. When touring the island during an official engagement, the king said, Greece is in my blood and I have long had a fascination for her ancient culture and history. Ibiza, Spain Several royals have headed to the Spanish island known for its party scene. Princess Beatrice and her younger sister have been in the past with Princess Eugenie reportedly having her Hindu there. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took baby Archie to the Vista Allegra complex of luxury homes which looks over the sea in 2019. Prior to this, Mike and Zara Tyndall were spotted enjoying a summer holiday in Ibiza. The couple were seen looking loved up at the Calabasa Beach Club in 2017. Dresco, Isles of Scilly in 2020, the Prince and Princess of Wales took their three children off the coast of Cornwall to the Isles of Scilly to stay on the beautiful island of Dresco. The privately owned, car-free island, where most choose to get around by bike, is popular with both royals and A-listers with the likes of Jude Law spotted taking a break in there in the past. Prince William, who inherited the island last year as part of the Duchy of Cornwall, first visited the island as a child along with Harry and his parents, Princess Diana and Charles, in 1989. Visitors enjoy the crystal clear waters by boat, kayak or paddleboard, exploring the Cromwell Castle ruins or the beautiful Abbey Garden. Don't miss! Camilla lives her life on a spreadsheet as she makes huge sacrifice for love, report, Princess Anne glistens in sapphires and pearls for a protective reason, insight, 83-year-old Queen Marguerite wears wildly eccentric raincoat and fans go wild. Pictures, Norfolk, England Balmoral aside, the royals also enjoy unwinding on their country estate, Sandringham House, in Norfolk. The Prince and Princess of Wales have also headed there in years gone by, staying at the nearby Anmer Hall. 
Princess Anne is also fond of the coastal escape where the late queen would walk her corgis along the water's edge. The Waleses have often been seen fitting in with the locals. Kate, Princess of Wales, was once seen in the Sainsbury's in King's Lynn, close to Anmer Hall, where the family lived during lockdown. In 2020, William was spotted tucking into a bowl of chips and a pint of asphalt cider in his local, the Rose and Crown pub.